Hello guys, Chemos for Beginners Part 2. In the first part, we cover how to define a machine, the tools and the post-processor. The next step in Chemos is defining the stock. For this, we have uh, in Chemos feature tree, a new group of options, which is called Stock Manager. You can open the window of this uh, manager by right click and edit definition or double click on stock manager so when you double click on stock manager the stock manager window appears on the left you have four options in camera to define uh, to define a stock the first part and maybe the most used one it's defining the stock from the bounding box, as you can see, when I open the stock manager, Camos automatically define a bounding stock for my part. The minimum dimensions of this bounding box are here under stock size. And according to the Solidos coordinate system, I can put allowance for X, Y, and Z. So if I want X plus I I will put here five millimeters. I have here five millimeters on this. I have here five millimeters, and of course, let's put it here. If you want to have an uniform allowance for any of this axis you just click on x plus y plus and z plus so as you can see as i move my cursor it's uniform x uniform y and uniform z axis the minus it's disabled so this is the allowances for um, for the three axes I can go back by just click here zero. I can set it as default or I can uh, and load it later and so on. The second options, it's extruded sketch. What does this um, option? Well, I will create quickly an, uh, a sketch. and right click stock manager edit definition mm -hmm. select the second option from the tree i will select the the sketch and when i select it as you can see the cameras automatically generate um, stock for me and i will i can put here on a, a distance, a depth. So this is a second option. Of course, for this uh, for this part, it's not. Uh, I can define the stock very easily using the bounding box. The third option is uh, defining the stock according to an STL file. And if any of these three options doesn't help you, you can always define um, a stock manager according to another SOLIDWORKS file and you will use this and select select a part you can you will right click you will click on on this option and browse for a part file so in my opinion you have all the options to define um, a stock in cameras this is this is a uh, the second part of Camos for Beginner. See you in the next part. Bye.